our our lesson today is averages okay i do this all the time and it's so much fun and i'm finally able to start a little lesson to you on averages are not your friends really quickly if you average a 50 percent return and then a 50 percent loss what is the average return and it's pretty uh pretty simple what's your average return if you average a 50 percent return one year and we'll call that year one we'll say uh in year one and then a 50 percent loss in year two what is your average return and it can be reversed if you want to have the loss first and then the return it doesn't matter but yes plain and simple your average return is a zero percent does a zero percent return equal your portfolio got back to break even because that's the catch and this is what bugged me about the industry it bugs me about how people talk about portfolio growth you can take a dollar and you multiply it by itself plus the 50 percent return so that's where you get times the 1.5 and it equals a one dollar and fifty percent growth in your portfolio but then a one dollar and fifty cent loss excuse me then a dollar and fifty cent minus a fifty percent loss equals only 75 cents going back the other way let's say you lose it first let's say we take all of this say you take your dollar and you multiply it by the 50 percent loss means that that dollar is only worth 75 cents but then you have a 50% gain, right? But then you make the 50% or you multiply it times 1.50. And I'm sorry, if you take a dollar, it goes down to 50 cents. Have to do my math right. That also equals 75 cents. This will happen in a three-year, five-year, seven-year, nine-year, 10-year rotation basis. The returns are a 0% return. Portfolio growth is down 25%. So I'm going to say it as simple as I can. I'm going to say it as politely as I can because there's some people out there again that are like well you're so mean to everyone else these are just facts and numbers if anyone is ever giving you an average return that means one of two things they either have never cared enough about their clientele to work those numbers to find out what real returns are or number two they're just too stupid to know how to work simple numbers to care about what the real returns are for their clientele this is what bothers me about the industry this is again where i'm willing to tell people and you know if it's rude it's rude i'm i don't care because i'd rather be rude and be honest then be polite and lie to your faces. This is something that bothers me about the industry. Averages are not your returns. 
averages are not portfolio growth. Averages are a very polite way to sound smart when you don't care about your client's portfolios, when you're not willing to put the effort into it. There's one other thing that really bothers me, 